South Korea has developed a laser anti-aircraft weapon nicknamed the Korean version of Star Wars technology. This laser weapon is a drone interception laser cannon and is considered one of the representative weapons that can respond to North Korea's drone attacks. If Korea starts producing this weapon from next year as planned, it will become the first country in the world to deploy a laser anti-aircraft weapon. According to a Korean government official on the 26th, the Defense Science and Technology Institute ad, recently conducted an evaluation of the laser anti-aircraft weapon at the Anhyung test site in Taeyeon, Chungcheong Nam Do and passed the combat suitability judgment the day before. In the evaluation, the laser was fired 30 times and hit all 30 unmanned aerial vehicles that were 3 kilometers away, achieving a 100% hit rate. The official said, Our military plans to start mass producing the laser anti aircraft weapon that has passed the combat suitability judgment from next year and then diversify the prototype of the laser anti aircraft weapon and install it on aircraft and ships to protect them from missiles. The military also plans to equip laser anti aircraft weapons on wheeled and tracked armored vehicles for operations. Earlier, the ADD started the Laser Anti Aircraft Weapon Block I research and development project from September 2019. In September of the following year, they also conducted a demonstration of a 20 kW output laser beam penetrating a steel plate target 1 km away at the Anhyung test site. The target used in the demonstration was made of the same material as North Korea's labor missile or unmanned aerial vehicle discovered in Paju in 2014. At the time, the laser anti-aircraft weapon prototype was manufactured by Korea Aerospace Industries. In this test evaluation, the laser anti-aircraft weapons range has increased to 3 kilometers, and the fact that they hit the unmanned aircraft flying in the sky is significant. The output of the Korean-made laser anti-aircraft weapon is 20 kilowatts, kilowatts, which is 20 times higher than that of a microwave, 1 kilowatt. Depending on the conditions, it usually takes a 20 to 50 kilowatts output to shoot down drones, a 100 kilowatts output to destroy tanks, and a 300 kilowatts output to neutralize cruising missiles. The Korean military plans to develop the Laser Anti-Aircraft Weapon Block 2 until 2030 to increase the output to 30 kilowatts. Laser anti-aircraft weapons are known for their speed and cost competitiveness. A laser travels at 300,000 kilometers per second. It is faster than hypersonic missiles, Mach 8, and it is practically impossible to avoid or counter laser attacks. They are also relatively inexpensive. The laser weapon costs around $1 per shot, making it more economical compared to the THAAD missile, $8.4 million per missile, or the new bow, $150,000 per shot. Laser weapons also have higher accuracy capable of passing through narrow gaps even smaller than the 5.56mm bullet of an individual rifle. The US has not yet deployed laser anti-aircraft weapons in combat. In 2020, the US Navy unveiled its High Energy Laser Weapon System LWSD, while the following year, the US Marine Corps developed the Close-In Weapon System CIWS, for low-altitude air defense, which was demonstrated shooting down small drones. The U.S. Air Force and Army plan to equip their F-35 stealth fighters and striker armored vehicles, respectively, with 50 kilowatts class laser weapons.